We brought together three YouTubers and one secret goblin. Will they be able to find the mole amongst themselves? I am a YouTuber. I am a YouTuber. I am a YouTuber. I'll be having that! <laughs> Odd one out. We haven't done one of these in a very long time. It's been a hot minute, so I thought I just really want to watch one. Just as a viewer, actually. I wasn't even thinking about this as a reaction video. I was like, I just want to watch one as a as a person that watches these. I haven't watched one of these fuckers in a while, and I like them, because I always get them right. So today it's fifth graders versus one secret adult. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Are you? I most certainly am. I, I'm almost positive that I am. <laughs> Almost positive. I can say with a basically 90% certainty that I am indeed smarter than a fifth grader. And if you think you are, then please like this video right now. I'm a fifth grader. 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 I am a fifth grader. And I'm an adult. My name is Brianna Mazura, and I am a content creator, and I do like POV skits, uh, mainly for children. Do you guys have any like favorite like activities or sports? Like for Okay, so odd one out. They're all blindfolded. There's one mole that's standing in the middle that has to pretend like she's in the fifth grade. <laughs> and I guess she said she makes skits for children, so maybe she's already sort of attuned to to being able to relate to these kids. We'll see. Do you guys have any like You can see right off the get-go she like makes herself the same height so that the sound isn't coming from someone who's taller, which is smart. I don't even know what a fifth grader talks about. Like, I feel like I would be like, um, I like trucks, uh, you know? And they'd be like, who's this fucking idiot? We're all on Instagram. What, we're all like, I like ice cream. We play video games. Who is this two year old over here? Favorite, like activities or sports? Like for me, I like doing swimming. I'm on the swim team. I do soccer for fun and I play with my dog sometimes. One of my favorite activities- I mean, this is a fucking solid list of activities right there. Solid. Kid's got a good head on his shoulders. Swimming, soccer, playing with dog. I'm serious, it's nice that you didn't say iPad, you know? That's good. A lot of kids these days are like, what do you mean interests? You mean like screen time? Like what, what apps do I use? These are playing games and probably like playing outside with my friends. I do karate art. I also do um, soccer. I just started soccer. I also do karate. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay, I got it. I like that she was, she seemed a little nervous too. I feel like that, like kids this age are just like still like a little bit socially nervous, especially in a situation like this. So I feel like she kind of nailed that. As well, I'm a brown belt. I'm actually very talented at it. I don't like to do- I don't doubt it. I bet you Brandon could kick my fucking ass, probably. Anyone that says I'm actually very talented at it, is. Without a doubt. I'm serious. I'm actually very talented at it. He's a killer. Thousand percent. He would fucking slit my throat with his hand. With his hand. A lot of activities. I like to sing, dance, I tap dance, I act, and um... Yeah. Does any of you guys watch Netflix? Yeah. 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 Um, what's like anyone's type of favorite movie or TV shows? I like sometimes watch like The Floor's Lava or something with oh, my sister. Oh yeah, yeah me too. That. I used to watch that with my brother. Do you guys watch um? Do you guys watch Stranger Things? Yes, oh, it's so I good. I love so Stranger good. Things. Say... Very beginning, my confidence was was pretty high. I was like, okay, you know what? This is going well. When I try to do the voice, <laughs> like the hand gestures too. <laughs> They're blindfolded. You don't have to you don't have to also act like a kid. I mean unless you're like really in character, which I get it. Listen, as an actor, I understand you need the motivations. I understand you gotta really embody the character. I get it. From one actor to another. Okay? I get it. I get it. So you might have thought that I was that I understood it there. That's because I was acting. I actually don't get it at all. <laughs> Listen guys, I wanna take a break to talk about one of the things that I think is wrong with our society right now, and that's the focus on buying material items. We are compulsive shoppers, consumers. Everyone has to have the latest phone, cars, clothes, you name it. There is so much more to this beautiful life than just buying things, all right? Like, for example, 
um, selling things. That's why I want to thank Squarespace today for sponsoring this video. Squarespace helps you sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has all the tools to help you start selling online. If you're interested in learning more about this and helping out this channel, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Start focusing on what's important in life. Sales! Do you guys watch Stranger Things? Yes, it's oh, so I good. My, I love so Stranger good. Things. Say... Very beginning, my confidence was, was pretty high. I was like, okay, you know what? This is going well. When I try to do the voice, I was trying to keep it young, but like not too young. So I was trying to do more like somewhere in the middle. What are the trends going around in your school? After, after Christmas, girls have Stanleys yeah. and they're like, guys, yeah, yeah. look at my new Stanley. Yeah, after Christmas, everyone has a Stanley. I hate this because like a boy in my class has this orange Stanley, like, why orange? Who's your guys' this? I love this Duncan on Stanley's business. Fuck yeah. I'm sick of those fucking shits. So I'm glad that you guys are on the same page. Cody, I'm a huge fan. Uh, would you sign my Stanley, Stanley cup? No one gives a shit about your Stanley. Oh. I actually have never understood the appeal of those. I mean, like, I guess having cold water all day is a cool thing, but what I do is I just don't drink water all day. That's also something you can do. And then it doesn't matter if it's cold or it's warm. You're not drinking it. That's my preferred method. So I don't give a fuck about how cool your water bottle is. Have you tried not drinking any? It's even better. Then you don't have to carry on this clunky ass fucking thing that's named after the dude from the office. You guys his favorite YouTuber because my my favorite's Mariah. There you go, iPad kid right there. Right there. Boom. I Elizabeth's my second favorite is Salish Matter. I oh, love no, Jordan I love Matter Salish Matter. That, that's my favorite YouTube channel. Do you watch Brent Rivera? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I didn't know he was still making shit for kids. I thought by now, I mean, I exposed the world's most evil babysitter. Oh my God, 10 million views, 12 million views, 13 million views. I get it, Brett. <laughs> I'm kidding. Next week, you're gonna start seeing my videos. <laughs> Having fun when I'm not supposed to? I like his sister, Lexi. Yeah. 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 For me, it was the height thing because I was like going up and down and I couldn't remember how far down I went when I last talked. So I feel like they're probably hearing my voice. I'm surprised she didn't plug her own shit. You know, she makes kid stuff. I'm surprised she wasn't like, what about, what about Marissa? You guys like her? And what if they were all like, oh, her stuff stinks. <laughs> and she's like, no, actually, it's quite, it's quite refined and tasteful, actually. We don't know what those words mean. You're clearly the mole and you're probably Marissa herself. <laughs> up and down. Does any of you guys play Fortnite? No. no. No, I don't play Fortnite. Yeah. I play Roblox. Yeah, I play oh, yeah, Roblox too. too. Yeah. I was definitely suspicious of Marissa. Her voice is really deeper than us, I guess. She sounded like, hey guys, do yeah, you guys Blake, play yeah, Arsenal? I was thinking that, like she sounds clearly older. She should have, she should have been talking like this. That's weird. <coughs> hey kids. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mom doesn't let me play Arsenal. What? Why? Why? Because it was with guns. Uh, I don't. It's not bad. It's like more like funny. Every kid could like play it. What do you guys pack for lunch when you guys go to school? The reason I ask people what they pack for lunch is because I knew they would probably be a kid if they said like mac and cheese. But like an adult would be like, Oysters. <laughs> that was so fucking funny, dude. If she was like, crab rangoons. Like, what? Oh, fuck. 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 That was the adult of me jumped out. God damn it. I mean, PB and J. Um, I usually just get seafood linguine in my lunch. Yeah, usually I'm just fucking with some chicken cordon bleu in my lunch. I mean, mac and cheese. Fuck. At school lunch, I usually get like chocolate milk or mac and cheese. Funny that she said oysters too as like the, the cliche adult food. I don't know why, it just, I mean, it's perfect. It really isn't an, an adult food. And they're fucking disgusting too, oysters. For some reason, adults eat them. I eat them, I like them, but they're fucking disgusting. They are an aphrodisiac, so maybe her parents are just, you know, <laughs> ordering them all the time because they're gonna go home, put the kids to bed, and then 
Bone. I usually like to pack Uncrustables and Hot Cheetos. Whoa. Ooh, yeah. I love Hot everybody's Cheetos. Everybody's obsessed with Hot Cheetos. Talkies is why everybody's yeah. obsessed with. Yeah. yeah, if one person has Talkies in my school, everyone would be lined up to get some. Yeah, he's like, oh my goodness, can I have some? Can I have some? Damn, dude, that was almost unanimous. You, how do you fail that bad? I mean, this one's hard. This one is fucking hard. I'll give her that. But how do you fail that bad? Also, I think this kid is still thinking about the video game part. You know what I'm saying? I think he's probably still thinking, like, it's not even that violent. Like, what the fuck is wrong with your parents? It's not It's not that violent. I think any kid could play it, honestly. I honestly didn't expect them to vote me out the first vote. There was one kid that was, like, super quiet, like, beside me, and I really thought they were going to vote for him because he really didn't talk. <laughs> Does anybody even know like people that there's say slang words? Like, do you know any? Yeah, I know too many. Lot. Me and my friends always say like slay to each other yeah. all yeah. the time. Yeah. Like you're like, yeah, slay queen. Y'all, I, I brought up slang words because I don't think adults would really know. Like, I don't say slang words at home. I say them at school. What slang do adults use? Like oyster and shit like that. Um, baby needs a new pair of shoes. What is the? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Baby needs a new pair of shoes. I'm trying to get like a sense of what her household is like. You know what I'm saying? Her parents are just uh, constantly eating oysters and buying each other shoes, I guess. John, I need a new pair of shoes. A kid. The most annoying part is that my mom, she's like not allowing me to do things other kids do. It's like she keeps me underneath a rock and she even hides my phone. So I have to ask if I can call my friend. Oh my God. My parents. <laughs> this dude is just straight up judging, bro. Oh my god, your parents suck ass. I'm happy I'm not you, honestly. I fucking get to play violent video games. I use my phone all the time. I'm chilling. Because my mom's not a bitch. I would think my little sister is not lying, but she is. And she tells on me all the time. For me? Dude, story of my life right there. <laughs> my little sis used to do the same thing. No, she didn't, actually. The most annoying part I have, too, is your height. And your voice, like sometimes you would be very low and sometimes you'd be very high in your yes. voice. Yes. And like compared to everybody in the crowd, you're like a little ant compared to them. There's a girl who's five foot one in my class. I'm like only four foot eight and I'm like, hello, I'm down here, hello. <laughs> like in fifth grade, everything changes. Like everybody's yeah. like changing yeah. and like you're losing your friends and then one second later you got new friends and then they want to be your friends again and it's so confusing hey that's just true no matter what phase of life you're in you know whether you're in the fifth grade or fucking 50 people switch up on you you're just learning it early you know people are like oh, i don't fuck with you anymore and all of a sudden you're in a jubilee video and they want to be your fucking friends again all right you gotta stay true to yourself your guys favorite part about like being a kid Having like fun times with your friends and stuff, not having yeah. to work all day. Yeah, yeah not have to worry about yeah. taxes and be like, hmm, we owe this much money, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Damn, rub it in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have fun times with my friends too. It's not just all taxes, although it sometimes seems like it is. Yeah, like my mom always has to work on like holidays and stuff like Thanksgiving break, but then I get to relax and watch TV all day for a whole week. I was a little suspicious about Olivia. She would respond to some stuff, but like, she was a little quiet. Also, some one of the best things though is- It's so funny that they already won the game and they're just still just chilling, just chilling. I think they've all forgotten what they're doing. Honestly, I think they're just hanging out. Like, they're having fun. It's exactly what they're talking about right now. What's the best part about being a kid? I don't know. We can just hang the fuck out. That's what they're doing right now. They're just blindfolded. I guarantee one of these kids forgot they have a blindfold on and forgot what the rules of the game are. They're just chilling. Straight up chilling. Kids just chill. I went to this one restaurant. The kid's menu, it was like, it had these humongous bowls of sushi. So we took advantage of that and bought like 10 of them. Oh my and god. And each of them were six dollars. <gasps> There's one thing you have to worry about. Like, dude, they're just chilling. Talking about sushi buckets. Is that if you spend your mom's credit card? Well, I don't use it. I have never done, I've never no, done I'm, that. I'm honest. I've only done it like one time. I've never done it. I've never done box. it. His voice also sounded a bit different. It sounded like he was trying to voice a kid. What would you get or buy if you had all the money in the world? You can just literally buy the earth if you had all the money in the world. Okay, evil villain. All right, future villain. 
by the world? Are you kidding me? I'd probably just buy the world, probably. Just be like the fucking emperor of the world and like have everyone report to me. Probably something small like that. Okay, would not trust this kid with a evil death ray. He definitely would use that not for good purposes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could just buy a country, you can get their income and then buy more countries. Oh, yeah. Business mindset, baby. That's entrepreneurship right there. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that far off, really. Like, if that kid's gonna grow up and be a, in private equity, for sure. I don't know if he's gonna be buying countries. I don't think you can be just buying countries, but companies, maybe. The money is I would help people out, like homeless people and charities. But then I would call my favorite celebrities and pay to meet them. What celebrities would you meet? Uh, Olivia Rodrigo, Jordan Matter and Salish Matter, probably Brent Rivera, like the whole AMP squad. I would probably... One, meet, go to see, meet my favorite celebrity, which I'm shocked Olivia didn't say, Taylor Swift. And I'd also um, buy a mansion with a bunch of fun stuff for me and my friends to like hang out, out in all day. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'd buy all the Barbie dolls in the world. What? And then I would own Universal Studios. Oh. <laughs> I would, I'm... The, do you think this kid is thinking, like, right now, he's like, yeah, but you guys, you all could have all those things if you owned the Earth. You not realize what I just said? I just dropped the best answer on you that you guys could have possibly, and now you guys are just coming at me with small shit, like I'd buy fucking Taylor Swift. I'd buy a mansion. I'd own all the mansions on all the countries. I would own Taylor Swift, Eras Tour, me. The money would go to me. I would buy all the Barbie dolls in Universal Studios. How about owning everything in the fucking world? I'm with the Universal Studios, yeah. If you buy that, can I, can I, can you invite me to Universal <laughs> Studios when you buy it? Yeah, invite all yeah, of us. He's like, I fucking, I would own it. I would own that. I would, it, ask me because I would be the fucking emperor. <laughs> Subscribe to Jubilee. Oh, way ahead of you. Already subscribed. Oh, let's do a... Here, let's do our own. <laughs> oh, they're all like, oh, wait, wait, we're still playing a game? Alexis. I was really sad because I was most certain about anybody that she was a fifth grader. Did you want her to stay? Yes, duh. I still want to be friends with everybody even though they like voted me out. Raise your hand. That's cool, man, because I don't know, people will stay switching up on you. Especially if you vote them out of a Jubilee game, they just switch up on you. It's crazy. You want to continue playing the game? The game is over. No! If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole, and you win. <laughs> None of them know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So good. Yeah, can we keep playing? No, wait, we're, oh, it's over? No, wait, what? Do we, are we winning? If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box, and you lose. It's green. might know me from YouTube. <laughs> I was so surprised because I also knew that girl. I love her videos. They're just awesome. What gave it away, can I ask? Your voice. Was it the voice? Yeah. 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 Yes. It's really hard to do a kid voice, to be honest. <laughs> She's like, so but, but why, did, why, why didn't you mention me earlier? I heard a lot of shit about fucking Brent Rivera, but like for some reason y'all didn't say me. I was one of your favorites. Like what's that's good with that. Very distinct type of voice and a very distinct way that they speak. But that is something that I'll probably take back with me and like know for my future videos. I've definitely got a lot of like good knowledge from them of like how to sound a little bit better and more believable. Yeah, my name. My name. This is mine. <laughs> your Be very careful. This kid will end you. Will end you for this cash. He's got big goals. What was your favorite part about the entire day? The part where we figured out we won. Uh, no bullshit, too. <laughs> no bullshit. Um, winning the fucking game? Dumbass. Obviously. You can always meet new friends because I made really good friends with the other girls. 
Yeah, but you gotta be careful. As we all know, they will fucking switch up on you. Was gonna win. I was gonna give them the money, to be honest, too. It's like, they're- Sure, sure you were, Brianna. Sure you were. So cute, so. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. And charity of, and stuff, of course. Damn, she got 7 million subscribers. Jesus Christ. I wonder how much money these people make. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>